Yes, when you come back from the hospital and tell me, ah, oh, no problem, no problem, just swelling a little bit. I feel good. Uh, he don't, uh, he don't get bad injured. You know, I don't like when people get bad injured, and they are my friends. I don't want to see my friend bad injured. He look like you are pirate. Pirate? Pirate. <laughs> New nickname for Yot. Yot San Clay Fertex the Pirate. Do like John John Slat. Everyone looks like me like John Slat. Pirate of Fertex. <laughs> Say again. Pirate of Fertex. <laughs> Pilot. What is this? I don't know. A Russian pirate. <laughs> Pirate Haribo. <laughs> hey, fellas! Hey! Actually, I got pirate. <laughs> Is this the Muay Thai gym? Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Oh, Mr. Pirate. Don't touch us. <laughs> Don't touch us. <laughs> Thank my lucky stars that uh, my chicken pox healed pretty quick and, and my ladder back in the competition. I never thought I'd say it, but I can't believe how much I miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Being sick and out of the loft is, was a big reality check. It was like a, it was a big wake-up call. That I thought that's the end of, uh, of my, my fighting in, in this competition. Um, I thought I was going to get sent home and someone else was going to replace me. It's so I crazy. they put you in jail and not in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. Bring, bring, yeah. bring. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit uh, a plus for me because Jaume Par was uh, sick. Jean-Marie Parr is, uh, is a legend in Muay Thai. When I was new in the Muay Thai scene, I was uh, thinking, man, this is a dream to fight this guy one day. And I want to live my dream. Now we're only seven. Ah, goodness. Now no more teams. No more teams. No more Capitano. So how do they do the join here? <laughs> Open one. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to touch it, just in case. <laughs> the new system to use the draws now to, to pick out who fights who is uh, pretty insane. I didn't want to touch it just in case I jinx myself, so I'm just going to wait till it's my turn and then go from there and see what happens. And what else happened? We've got another present too. Personally, I was happy to see him, you know. He's a fellow Aussie and I can someone to talk to again. I'm happy to have him back. So I thought I'd, you know, take him over and give him his bracelet that he missed out on. Um, it was still on the ring where Jamie put it for him. Contender bracelet. Contender bracelet? It's wow. yours. Really? Yep. How, Last eight. How good is that? Yeah. Receiving the contender bracelet is a, a very good memento. It's a good little reminder of what I've done. And Soren presented me with the bracelet, which was, which was really cool. It's, it's really nice to see Soren having a fellow Aussie in the loft. What, what was it? Shingles? No, no chicken pox again. Yeah. I've seen the dermatologist. I said, oh, she goes, oh, it's chicken pox. I said, I had it already. She goes, it doesn't matter. You can keep it twice. Yeah. It's really cool that we both can represent the country this far into the competition. It's going to be a shame if we have to fight each other until there's only one of us left. But I hope we can both get to the semi-finals and, and uh, enjoy the journey together. Just uh, just sketching like, when I'm going to fight and who I'm going to fight. And I'm scared I'm going to lose my fitness. And... But I feel all right. I really got my focus back now and the contender bracelet. It's a good reminder that I'm here to fight and I'm here to win. And I really want to do the best that I can to get to the final. It's more about defending, okay? Not too much about attacking. I want to make sure you don't get kicked in the head. Drop your head, left hand move forward, left hand move forward. Sidov, weight-wise, he only sits on 68 kilos, but the other boys are at least six, seven kilos heavier than him. So I sit off very much in the third, fourth, fifth round, kind of feel the impact of the size difference between the opponents. Instead of standing there and take the big guy, just follow his power. Boom. E. Boom. E. Good boy. So we teach counter-attacking, so the injury level stays down in the later rounds. And for Sidov, a big punch can be the end of the fight. Come on, guard up. And step to the side, step. Damn, and kick, and you're there, one, one, two, that's good. Stefan make more hard training with me. He want to push me a little bit more because no more easy fights here in the loft. Every fight going to be now really, really hard for everybody. I 
think being one of the oldest in the house, I have to work twice as hard as the younger guys because you know your, your body isn't doing the same as it used to be when you're younger. It's been hard. You can look out of training. Uh, UK is well into the 30s. He must be over the hill, but he's got a decent right hand on him. Uh, he's got heavy hands, likes to box. But you know, I get a lot more to offer than just a hard right hand. Pretty soon from now, there's going to be four people left in the house. I'm definitely going to be one of them, I know that. I'll do more sparring, a hell of a lot more pad work, and I'll do more conditioning. I'll train much more intensively. I know I can compete with all the guys in the house if I'm fit, so there's no reason for me not to do well in any of the fights. And the chest of drawers is probably about an hour or two away. There's always a wee bit of dread when it comes up, but I'd rather, I'd actually like to fight um, sooner rather than later. So, ladies and gentlemen, the time for the future. <laughs> Zidoff has a card game where he predicts the future of the fights. It's pretty, pretty crazy from a, a crazy little Croatian. Yeah, it's pretty, the, the, the Croatian gypsy. Okay, job on me, huh? Who's, who's blue corner? Uh, me blue corner. Okay. The game is like this, the fights are five rounds, so I have to pick for every fighter five cards. It depends how many rounds you win, you are the winner of the fight. Oh, close draw. fight, huh? A draw. Yeah. Close fight. <laughs> okay, now I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now. Zidov's track record with the card game is pretty, pretty good. I actually do sort of believe a little bit what Zidov's doing with the cards. He's been pretty much on the money so far, and, and yeah, it's all happened. Me and you. Just in case. Just in case? Just in case. Okay. Good luck. Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh. Oh. I win? I win this round? I win John Wayne Parr! Yeah. <laughs> I smash John Wayne Parr. I beat him badly up. Uh, can only be good for me, you know. This gives me new motivation for the f if I have to really fight him. I win you and I win you, but I lose to you. It <laughs> 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 happens. I think you can't do this now. The world, I just lost to Zeta. Devastated. Okay, now Sean and him. Oh! oh. oh. Bad, no, that's huh? bad. That's, that's no. Sean. Yeah, that's yeah. Sean and that's UK. That's UK. So that's good. Not for UK. No, that's an Octian. Yeah, but go for, for Sean go down. Yeah. This is good for him. <laughs> Ooh. I don't believe in fortune telling, but it's, it's fun to, to, to see that stuff. Ooh. 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 See those card game when he did the me and Sean today. I win in my back of my head. I mean, I'm beat Sean, I beat Sean, so I like it. Congratulations! Better watch round three in the semi final. But now there's no more teams, now you're on your own, now everything can happen.